Welcome back to Powerhouse. Today we're uncovering what it takes for a new home to be energy efficient. So we decided to start from the very beginning with the builder. Joining me is Derek Ogier with Trego Custom Homes. And Derek, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Let's talk a little bit about your philosophy, because I know you incorporate energy efficiency into everything you do when you're building. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, we sure do. Our philosophy from, from the beginning is energy efficient. That's all we, we really want to accomplish, accomplish is a great product with energy efficiency. Um, we try to do energy efficiency coupled with owner practicality. Let's talk about that in terms of your custom homes and what you really build into your new homes from an energy efficiency standpoint. Everything that we put into a home is, is classified energy efficiency. Everything from windows to furnaces to AC units, uh, insulating ratings are, are higher than what, what is just the minimum requirement for the uh, Energy Star rating program. Uh, we put everything from appliances in that are Energy Star rated to light fixtures. Now, Derek, are you, are you finding new home buyers? Are they really interested in energy efficiency? Most definitely. Um, I would say probably 9 out of 10 customers that we actually speak to um, ask us something to do with energy efficiency of, of either a home, um, appliance, a furnace, you know, or an AC unit. Derek, we're out here in the garage, and, and I know you really you look at the whole the whole house cavity in, mm -hmm. and in terms of energy efficiency. Talk to us a little bit. The, the garage door is one of, the, one of those areas? Yeah, this is, a, this is something that we actually like, love to do in, in homes here. Uh, the garage doors here are actually a solid, uh, solid core door, which translates into, it's a steel door uh, made in a factory. It's blown with uh, polyethylene foam. Uh, and then it's sealed, so it's all one unit. There are no uh, insulation panels you're putting in after, you know, after the fact. This is a solid door. Um, the R value of a normal uh, steel door, even with insulation panels in it, are about an R6 value. These are R11 values. Well, and again, you're, you're taking into consideration that, that garage door. It's vital in terms of energy efficiency for the whole house. I mean, this is, is where it starts. This is your biggest door of your home. So, yeah, if it doesn't start here, Where's it going to start? That's a great point. Let's go inside and take a look at, at the furnace room. Sure. Derek, as we go into the lower level here, a very comfortable home. Yeah, that's because we always uh, put energy efficient items in our homes, such as the furnace that we're about to look at. We're here in the furnace room and, and talk a little bit about what you install in your homes. Yeah, certainly. Uh, right here is a, is a furnace that's a 92.8% um, efficient furnace. Um, which means 92.8% uh, of the fuel that actually goes into this unit is actually being used for a heat purpose. Um, if we look over here, we actually have a 50 gallon hot water tank. Um, this, uh, in generality, uh, saves about 10% a year on energy efficiency. It is a 90% unit. Uh, it also has a thermostat at the lower level here. That thermostat will actually end up saving you 25% of energy costs. For instance, if you use 140 degree temperature, on this unit, you back it down to the to the recommended 120 degree temperature, 25 percent less energy. Now, Derek, I know you take a lot of uh, specialization in, in your walls and how you insulate the walls. We do. Talk a little bit about here. Okay, up here in the open cavity, we actually use a uh, in this unit we actually use the fiberglass uh, cellulose batting in from, uh, insulation material. Uh, when we do a custom home building here, this is an area that we always try to ask the homeowner. Uh, the, the future homeowner uh, to actually use wool insulation in. Wool insulation is a higher value, um, it's less caustic, um, it's safer to handle, especially as, as you know, we're in an open environment right. here. So fiberglass sometimes has those little fiber crystals, whereas wool does not. It's very safe to the touch. Um, you but can actually a, rub it on your skin. It's not a real common choice, though, is it? It's not. It's not. It's mostly in your coastal states and your, in your southern states that use it, um, strictly because it's moisture wicking ability. But uh, here, the R values are just amazing, where you can get a 50 in a ceiling. You can actually obtain R values of 60. And a real advantage to using that wall. Yes, and it's very cost effective. I mean, it's about double the cost of normal insulation um, to a homeowner, but they'll see that return on their investment within one to two years. Now, how about exterior walls? I know you, were, you talked a little bit about exterior walls and the importance of the exterior walls and yes. what you do. Yes, yep, interesting. If we walk right out here, uh, when we do a HERS testing um, for all of our homes that we do, we actually have an independent third party company come in and audit the home. Uh, during the construction phase and then also uh, at the end of construction. And what they normally point out to us is, is that right here along this wall, uh, this is a door and you always have these open cavities that kind of go around the door. 
Now, once you go around these doors, they actually need to be insulated. Uh, so we actually use a third-party system approach to that. We actually caulk, seal, and insulate the cavities around all doors and all windows. We take that one step further, and we come down here to the outlets on an exterior wall. Have you ever held your hand near an outlet and you actually felt the, the air, air infiltration bet. come in? Uh, this is a problem area. Not a lot of people understand that, but we actually take it one more step, and we actually caulk that, that outlet. We actually caulk the wires that come into it. Now, how do wires get to that outlet? They actually protrude through the studs on your exterior wall. You gotta cut a hole through those studs. You gotta cut them through. So that leaves a, a path for air to travel. So what you normally try to do is you try to insulate that and contain the air infiltration. And again, you mentioned, uh, Derek, the HERS, the Home Energy Rating System. And again, that, mm -hmm. that, that plays into your, your building of your homes, right? That's part of our philosophy. We, we try to do energy efficient homes as much as possible. Uh, we always do a five-star energy rated home. And how we get that energy rating is actually through an independent HERS tester. Well, Derek, thanks for showing us around a beautiful home. Well, you mentioned you. that, that third-party uh, evaluator. We're going to tag along with them this afternoon to really see how they perform their testing to see if a house is truly energy efficient. Energy, we're on for you.